in my room. See, no monsters. You want me to check under the bed? No monsters. Should I check the closet just so we're safe? No, don't go in there. Are you sure? I can check just so we know. No, mommy, please. I'm not scared anymore. Don't go in there. I told you, you have nothing to be afraid of. Darkness is just darkness, nothing more. into bed. Can I have my flashlight? You want me to sing you a song? It's just a storm, sweetheart. Cold blows the wind tonight, my love. Cold are the drops of rain I only had but one true love And in green wood he lies slain I'll do as much for my true love As any young girl may I'll sit and mourn all by his grave for twelve months and a Mommy's here.
Adam, I better shake off these new guy jitters and get serious. I don't have the jitters. Yes, you do. No, really, I don't. Your face looks like shit. You don't even have your badge. Maybe my face looks like this naturally, and my badge is on back order, so. Huh. Or maybe it's your first day in the job. You're really trying to impress, and you got the jitters. I got news for you. The chief, don't impress. Or maybe I'm just curious about what we're going to find out here. Or maybe. Maybe you two should shut up. Where's the rest of it? Good question. Miss Palmer said her dog drug it up this morning. Think it could be the Lineman Brothers? Maybe. Oh, you think the Lineman Brothers would go this far, Chief? Probably not. Phil, it's gonna be a pretty long weekend, boys. Just a reminder, sir, it's Leland's graduation weekend. I'm aware. Think Savannah will show? 50-50. You don't think she'll at least show for Leland? All right, let's get the line. Stash. All right. Let's get the Lyman brothers down to the station. If they do know something, we're going to find out. Yes, sir. Who's Savannah? My daughter. Welcome to Get High in the Morning with Chris Isaac and Kelly Ray. Thanks for listening, folks. We've got a real treat for you today because last night, Kelly and I had the opportunity to sit down with a young author that has taken the world by storm with her debut best-selling book, All Light Will End. Obviously, I'm talking about Savannah Martin in the house, on the show. Here we go. So sit back, relax, and get ready for some ear porn. Savannah, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me, Chris. I want to start off by saying I absolutely love this book, but frankly, it scared the hell out of me. God, me too. I didn't sleep for three days after I read this book. So maybe tell us a little bit about what inspired you to write the book. Sure. Well, as a little girl, I struggled with some really vivid night terrors. And as I got older, it was just something that I wanted to voice. 
maybe to come to terms with it and move on. See, I thought it was absolutely genius that you wrote the book from the mother's perspective. Yeah, me too, me too. What made you decide to write from that? It's been a while since we last spoke. Yeah. How are things? Good. Um, mostly, yeah. Doing real good. Are you still seeing Jack? Mm hmm Yeah, we're still together. Well, that's good. Is it getting serious? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Well, your career seems to be doing very well. Yeah, I suppose so. Are you still taking your medication? Yes. I'm not crazy or anything. And how are you sleeping? Good, uh, most days. Have you noticed any recurring thoughts, images, things you can't shake out of your head? Uh... I have this, uh, nightmare sometimes that, um, trapped, uh... Trapped where? A psychiatric ward. So you've been experiencing more night terrors. The medication I prescribed for you can help over time. But unfortunately, there are certain side effects that sometimes make them worse. What happens to them? Well, there have been cases in which the patients have a difficult time in deciding where the dream ends and reality begins. Or they live in what we call a fugue state in which they dissociate. But in your particular case, we Did you experience this dream recently? No. Oh, well, good. That happens, I mean, happened to me. Not dissociation, but occasionally the dreams would get blurry. You know, sometimes it would feel like I brought the dream back with me. You know, even now, when I'm with friends and other people, I could still see it in the dark corner staring back at me. What's staring back at you? Uh, the thing that's waiting for me when I go to sleep. And what do you think that represents? I don't know. You're the psych, you tell me. <laughs> well, it could mean a number of things. Have you any feelings of guilt, persecution? Things like that. I feel... I feel guilty that I can't remember that night. I try, but I can't. It's just a blur. You know, the thing that haunts me the most is why she did it. You know, what was so bad about her life that she had... Your mother's death was not your fault. We all have inner demons. And sometimes those inner demons win. did everything they could. By the time the paramedics got there, she had... I think your mother would want you to know that it's not your fault. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Um, I got a text from my father today. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, he just, uh, 
said that my younger brother is graduating this weekend and invited me to come. Hmm. I think it'd be a great opportunity. An opportunity to... To reconcile with your father. Yeah. I... I... I don't think he wants to reconcile with me. I think he might. Sometimes it's difficult for fathers to express themselves. Yeah, maybe. I just... I don't think so. But what makes you say that? Because he's the only one that knows the truth. I see. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. It makes no difference to me. I told you you didn't kill nobody. That's what you said, but... Why the hell would I do a stupid-ass thing like that? Huh? Think, Mr. Cop. Got better things to do with my time. Like what? Like this. Okay, the hard way it is. Adam. Look at my taser. A taser? Hell no. Hell no. No, look, we said we didn't, we, I swear, we didn't kill nobody. We swear it. I'm not sure where that is. Hey, Chief. Got a sec. Yeah. Yeah. Just got a call from Janice Peterson. Apparently, she found a hand on her property. Okay. Tell Ms. Peterson we'll be out there as soon as we can. All right, Chief, one more thing. Yeah. This one was female. You're telling me we got a second victim? Seems that way. What are the odds those two dipshits in there capable of something like this? Not good. That's because you cheat. I, I don't cheat. Faith. You totally cheat. Oh, bullshit. Babe, do I cheat? Babe? What? Do I cheat? Ah, oh, I rest my case. You know what, Paul? It being awesome and everything is cheating, then yeah, I cheat. And he is so humble, too. So, we going this weekend or not? Yeah, we're down. Why are we going? Your brother's graduation. I mean, unless you don't want us to, we don't have to go. I just really haven't thought about it. I think we should go. I think it's high time your family met your boyfriend. We can stay in your parents' old cabin. Listen, babe, if you're not comfortable, we don't have to go. It's okay. Sorry. What's that? <laughs> okay, we'll go. Yeah, all right. Cheers Good. it up. Pinkies. Are there any good places to shop there? <laughs> what? Uh, no. <laughs> There's not. I'm sure it'll still be fun. Yeah. <laughs> all right, come on. Let's go, Superstar. You're up. Oh, am I? Okay, um, all right, I got one. I can only live where there's light, but I'd die if the light shines on me. What am I? <gasps> Jack, put down your phone. I'm texting for work. <laughs> Cheater. It's fine, fine, I don't need the phone. A shadow. You got it? My smart makeup. Yeah. Look at you. Mm. So sexy. Another one. Mm. Get a room, Jesus Christ. Speaking of that, Savannah, can we crash here tonight? I drank way too much to drive. Savannah, <laughs> it's my house. Also, can we maybe not sleep on the couch this time? There's not a whole lot of room for it. 
um, okay, cool, I'm fine with you guys staying here or whatever. Paul. You wanna? Yeah. Me neither. You okay about this weekend? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, staying at the cabin and everything. I mean, as long as everybody's there, I think I'll be okay. Good. Good night. Darkness is just darkness. Nothing more. Closet just for the safe. No, don't go in there. Are you sure? I'll check it, just the worst case. No, mommy, no, we're not going in there. Don't go in there. I told you you have nothing to be afraid of.
Ma? Good morning, beautiful. You okay? Do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's like 10.30. The rest of us are all packed up, so if you want breakfast, you better get a move on. Plus, I made you some coffee downstairs. <sighs> You're a lifesaver, thank you. Yeah, I know. Okay, so how far away is this place again? It's about six hours. Oh my God, kill me. Come on, babe, it's not that bad. <gasps> Savannah, please tell me that this place has Wi-Fi. Uh, the cabin does not have Wi-Fi. No cell service either. Shit. Uh-oh. Okay, so what are we gonna be doing while we're there, then? I don't know. Relax, read, some board games and a deck of cards. We could play strip poker. What? Oh, come on, guys. Savannah, you've got my back on this, right? Uh, <laughs> no, uh, you're, you're on your own with this one. Let's get to rambling. Protocol in this situation. First, we cordon off the area. Then, nope. Protocols do whatever the chief says. I feel like that was a preemptive response. What do you have for us, Mrs. Peterson? I got a head, Chief. No body, just a head. I thought you said a head. Talked really fast for an old lady. I was on my afternoon walk with Wookie. Wookie. Dog I started acting strange, so I followed him across the creek and I stumbled over a severed human head, Chief. <laughs> I won't lie, I vomited in my mouth a little. My husband used to call that having breakfast twice. What time was it you found the head? Oh, about uh, 2.30.
Hello? Jack? Hello? Faith? Hey, are you in there? Where is she now? Sleep. You sure? Yes. Found another body today. Who was it? Don't know yet. Unrecognizable. Like the others. Any new leads? Suspicions? No, I don't know what it is. Hey, do me a favor, will ya? Could you just leave the TV off for a few days? For what purpose? You know good and damn well for what purpose. I don't like what you're doing. It's wrong. She's a little girl. It's not hurting her. And it's necessary. Is it, Diana? Be back. Charge it. I got it. Okay. Let's go. Hey, baby. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Memories? Yeah, a few. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Listen to me. We are going to have a great weekend. Okay? You believe me? Yeah. I promise. That's my girl. Hey, guys. 
Is the front door supposed to be open? Holy shit! Leland! What the hell? What do you mean, what the hell? You're the one trying to murder people with an umbrella. <sighs> <laughs> it's nice to see you too, sis. So what's up with the lights, man? Oh, the generator's a pole crank it takes two. Besides, I still got the basic layout memorized, see? No bumps on my shins? Hey, I'm Jack. Leland. This is Paul, and um, I think you remember Faith from last summer when you came up? Yeah, didn't we, uh... Nope. Nope. So, Leland, about those lights, buddy. I'm with you, man. So, how you been? Good. Good, mostly. How's everything down here? It's good. You and I see very different places, Mama Jane. Yeah! That's it! We can make hot dogs and things, it's gonna be great. Oh, that's our cue. Yeah, let's not disappoint. <laughs> hey, babe! Come on out here before this thing goes out! Guys, I am totally serious. They were in one of those underwater boat things, and it swam right up to the window and made eye contact with him. That is scary! It had like webbed hands and weird eyes. I thought mermaids wore seashell bikinis though. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. All right, you guys all laugh it up now. They're gonna announce that mermaids are a real thing and you're gonna think about this night and be like, wow, Faith is never wrong about anything, ever. My girlfriend, the one who believes in mermaids. Up. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back to the scary stuff. Savannah, why don't you tell us one of your stories? Why me? Seriously? Maybe because you have the best-selling, scariest book of all time. Yeah, with a quote from Stephen King on the cover that says, chilled me to my very core. I'm sure it did. Hey, congrats on all that, by the way. Thank you. I read it. It was, it was great. You didn't read it. I read the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, Leland, you're up, brother. I am not good at telling stories, guys. Yes, you are. I know you at least have one. Okay. Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. okay. all right, all right, calm it down. So, I remember going fishing with my dad one morning, and if you know anything about my dad, well, when he goes fishing, he does not stop until the sun goes down. I was about seven at the time, so I couldn't hold focus on much for very long. And I remember I was just super exhausted and I just wanted to leave. But he just kept fishing, fishing, fishing. And finally I fell asleep in the boat. I woke up as we were docking the boat and 
we started unloading everything and our dock was super close to Bill Hurd's cornfield and I remember it was super tall and it really freaked me out. Anyways, we're loading everything into the truck and I just get this overwhelming feeling like something or someone is watching me. And at one point I looked over my shoulder and I see this thing that I have never seen before. I mean, it was just this massive black creature staring at me, motionless. I remember I tried to get my dad's attention, but he has a super low tolerance for that sort of thing. So while he's loading up the truck, I'm just staring at this thing, and it is staring right back at me. Finally, we finish loading everything into the truck. We hop in, we start it up, we're heading down the road, and I realize we have to go right past this thing. So as we get closer to it, I remember yelling out to my dad, look dad, there's a monster! And he stops the truck. He sees it too. Do you see that? Not in my head, yeah. He starts rolling down his window and I'm begging him not to. I am begging him not to do it, but he does it anyways. And now that we're close to this thing, I mean, it had to be seven, maybe eight feet tall. I mean, it was massive and it was just staring at me. Like it didn't give a damn that I knew he was there. I could feel my heart in my chest and my dad, he looks over at me, solemn as ever. He says, son, that's a scarecrow. Oh, you're <laughs> you're me. I am like sweating over here. That scared the shit out of me, man. Dude, that was awesome. Hey, I did my best. All right, I'm next. Actually, I think that's it for me. What? Oh, come on. What are you talking about? We're just getting the night started. I'm gonna tell my story. You're gonna miss it. I love your stories, but there's a nice hot shower waiting for me, okay? Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye. All right. Are you guys ready to shit your pants? Uh, hold up. You know what? I actually gotta take a piss. Seriously? Yeah. Is there another bathroom other than the one upstairs? Yeah, there's one in the master. Just. Don't touch anything. My dad is super OCD about people touching his stuff. Copy that. Nobody wants to hear my story? You guys suck. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> um, did you have to open this door? No, I just got down here. That's weird. Is everything okay? I was just upstairs and um, I stumbled into your parents' bedroom. I, I know I wasn't supposed to be up there, but curiosity got the better of me. Anyway, I was just about to leave. And something across the room in the shadows just caught my attention. And I found something. So why doesn't your dad live here? We own some land out by the bluffs. He stays at an airstream out there. Yeah, but why? So many bad memories, I guess. Can't get him to get rid of the place either. <laughs> you know, I haven't told that scarecrow story in years. Because it makes you sound like a pussy? 
Well, Savannah and I used to tell that story all the time to mess with our friends. So she's always like telling scary stories then? I mean, funny thing, actually, she hated him when she was little. I was never able to tell the end of that scarecrow story when she was around. What do you mean? Because of her night terrors. And there was something else in that cornfield that night other than the scarecrow. What was it? I don't know. That's where they found all those dead bodies of those people that were killed 20 years ago. Probably went running. You okay? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just tired. You know, it's kind of beautiful out here. But, like, really quiet. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just forget over time, but, man, I really, really enjoyed it as a child, mostly. I mean, I could probably never live this far away from a mall, but uh, I can see myself bringing the kids out here for like a vacation or something. <laughs> you want kids? What, Paul? I mean, what, you've never thought about kids with Jack? <sighs> I mean, that's just so far out. You know, I haven't, I haven't even thought about it. I mean, I know he's, like, a total dork. <coughs> yeah. But he's fun, you know? Yeah, he's, he's really nice. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Of course you can. If you had a secret, that would you know, pretty much make everybody think you were crazy. But not telling is like a slow descent into insanity itself. Who'd you tell? Are we talking about somebody in particular here? No, 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 no. It's just hypothetical. <clears throat> okay, that's a really weird question. Um, I would tell. Yeah? You would? Fuck it. I mean, who cares what they think, right? You know, you're a really good friend. Yeah. No. Can we go to bed now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat>
found something. I found something that I don't think I was supposed to find. Paul? didn't come to bed last night and I still can't find him. phone which means he can't be far away right uh okay so let's split up and search for him hey hey he's probably just messing with us all right don't worry listen be careful okay Recognize her? No. I guess Wookie must have drug it here from somewhere. About fainted when I first saw it. <sighs> then I figured it must be another lineman prank. Those assholes are always trying to screw with people. The last Halloween, they put up missing signs all over town. Folks that weren't even missing. Remember that, Chief? Had people thinking there was a serial killer in town. <laughs> or something worse. <laughs> worse than a serial killer? You have no idea. You gotta talk to them boys. I don't think this was the lineman boys, Mrs. Peterson. You okay, Mrs. Peterson? I need to sit down. Adam, could you get some water in the car and tend to Mrs. Peterson, please? Yes, sir. Make all this, Chief. Oh, a dog is Wookie again. There's a Yorkie. Human head weighs 10, 11 pounds tops. Why? There's a Yorkie way. The rest of the body has to be close. Paul! You idiot, where are you? It's just a storm, sweetheart. Did you hear that? Faith. Oh, close the window, right, my love. Cold are the drops of rain. I only have heard one I'll sit and mortal by his grave for twelve hundred days. What? Do you always have to get an attitude with me every time I come to talk to you? I wouldn't if you actually talked to me, but you don't. 
talk at me. I just came to see how your writing is going. Since when do you care about my writing? Since it could potentially reflect poorly on me if it's not any good. Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence, Mother. I'm just saying. I've worked very hard to build my reputation, and I don't want it watered down. What do you expect me to do? Change my name? Actually, a pseudonym had crossed my mind. You're unbelievable. I just think it's something worth considering. I also think that you should consider coordinating your writing schedule. What's that supposed to mean? I read some of your draft last night and... Why are you going through my stuff? Don't make this a thing. No, that is a thing. It's obviously a thing. No, you always do this. Do what, mother? I can't constantly live up to your goddamn expectations. Don't speak to me that way. Writing a book takes sacrifice. Commitment. Things that I'm not sure you're capable of. Enlighten me, Mother. What exactly are you capable of? It's all right here. Your father's dropping the manuscript by my publisher tomorrow afternoon. This is what it takes to be a real writer. <laughs> Paul! You idiot, where are you? Mom? You're unbelievable. Gosh, no. This book changes everything. something that I don't think I was supposed to find. What do you mean? Let me be a little bit more specific. I found something that I don't think you specifically would want anyone to find. you're talking about Paul. No, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about, Savannah. I'm talking about that dark, intimate little secret that's been eating away at the inside of your soul. Who else knows? No one. And I'm willing to keep it that way. What do you want, Paul? <laughs> what do I want? My silence is worth to you. <laughs> what did you find? What secret is so important that you had, you had to murder my boyfriend to keep him silent? I didn't murder him. Oh. Are you gonna tell me you didn't sleep with him too? I have the recording! Whoa, 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 what the hell is going on, Faith? Faith, put the axe down. 
Oh, what the fuck? This is all your fault. Faith, Faith put the axe down. Get away Faith, from just me. put the axe down. Paul, of course you get lost. to be a real writer. You gotta be kidding. I'm sorry? You've really outdone yourself this time, Mother. What are you talking about, Savannah? You can just sit there and act like you're innocent after everything that you've done. Everything I did, I did it for you. <laughs> Bullshit. You did it for yourself. I did it because it had to be done. Who do you think pays for all of this? <laughs> Not your father's joke of a salary. My writing has paved the way for you and for your brother. Do you think those publishers would be considering your book if you weren't my daughter? What would they say if I told them the truth? Don't you understand? This book changes everything. For me, for you, for all of us. At what cost? I seen the point. No! That's the fucking point! No one will believe you. It's in your best interest to keep this to yourself. And what if I don't? Is that a chance you're willing to take? Go fuck yourself. Your mother's death was not your fault. We all have inner demons. And sometimes those inner demons win. There have been cases in which the patients have a difficult time in deciding where the dream ends and reality begins. Or they live in what we call a fugue state in which they dissociate. That happens, I mean, happened to me. I sometimes feel like I brought the dream back with me. You're right. What? It's my fault. Do you want to know Savannah's dark little secret? Is that what you want? It was an accident. There Savannah. are no accidents, Faith. Know me, Faith. I mean, do you really want to know me? Savannah. 
Anna. Tired of feeling guilty about it. She fucking tormented me my entire life. She she used me like a science experiment. <laughs> Hush now. Mommy's here. And it's necessary. Tormenting our daughter for the sake of the damn book? This has to stop, Diana. This has to stop now. One day she'll understand. This is what it takes to be a real writer. You're gonna sit there and act like you're innocent. After everything that you've done, no one will believe you. I think your mother would want you to know this, Nerf. genius that you wrote the book from the mother's perspective uh, well and uh, actually speaking of mothers how helpful was it having such a successful author such as the late diana martin as your real life mother i, I can only imagine god yeah was she instrumental in helping you finish the book definitely and i just there's a good thing that came from it and as for your dead boyfriend so much he blackmailed me over the truth babe savannah please. shut up <laughs> don't worry and fuck him <laughs> but i did kill him Say hello to my mother for me. Savannah! <laughs> Never seen anything like this before, Chief? About 20 years ago. I think this is a kill out of necessity or passion. Seen both, but this. Pure evil. Apparently, I left a walk in a truck. Margaret! I've been trying to get a hold of you for over an hour. We got a distress call from a landline out your way. Over. Where? Over. 114 Lavender Way. Over. What's protocol now?
look, there's been a murder. I'm at uh, 114 Lavender Lane, and it's... Hello? Hello, Jack. Fuck! What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. You just killed all our friends, you crazy bitch! Mm. A little. Just, just stay away from me, okay? I thought you loved me, Jack. Why are you doing this? I'm working on a new book. Shit! Cabin. Over. Copy that. Closing in. Over. Natchez police. Any new leads? Suspicions? No. I don't know what it is. Clear here. Over. What? Chief, you said that. We're clear here. Over. Copy that.
Much for my true love as any young girl may. I'll sit and 